FEMA has already approved $737 million in financial help for Florida's hurricane victims, and the Department of Children and Families is now helping locals restock their fridges through its Food for Florida program. ABC 7's Erica Jackson spoke with those lined up for food assistance at the DeSoto Square Mall today, and she's here to tell us why it's a crucial leg up for so many. Erica? Good evening, Adam. DCF staff, they're wrapping up their first day here at the DeSoto Square Mall. They tell me when they arrived this morning at around 6.30 a.m., there was a line of about 4,500 people uh, starting behind me about where the food court starts, wrapping around Hudson's Furniture, all of those people looking to get food stamps to relieve some of the stress caused by Hurricane Irma. We're on Social Security. We don't have a lot of money. Ernest and Kathy Dow have seen many highs and lows during their 45 year marriage. One recent low, a tree falling on their home during Hurricane Irma. Knocked down the power lines and oh, yeah. the spots and the tree was catching on fire. The damage total is more than $7,000, not including the food lost while they were without power for six days. Food prices are going up and, you know, it's hard just for two of us and the dog. I mean, it's, it's, it's like $125 a week. We didn't have a generator anywhere to keep cold food. Deborah Williams and the Dows joined thousands of other families taking advantage of DCF's Food for Florida program. All eligible families will receive the maximum amount of food assistance, and families already receiving food stamps will get additional benefits added to their EBT cards for September and October. We just buy a little bit at a time until now. I got my card, so we're going to stock it up. DCF staff will remain at the DeSoto and Sarasota Square Malls through Tuesday, including employees who speak Spanish and Creole, and a separate area for those with special needs. Families are eligible based on income and must have experienced a disaster related loss, like the Dows, who say it could have been much worse. But I'm sure there's other people that could use even off more than are. us. Sure. Puerto Rico, oh I'm sure gosh. they need it. And when I arrived around noon today, the line was still wrapped around the building. I spoke to some people that went through the complete process, and they tell me that the line took about two and a half hours to get through. But once they got to the building, it only took about 10 minutes to complete the process inside. And you can help expedite the process by pre-registering on DCF's website, and you can find the link to DCF's website on our website, mysuncoast.com. Reporting live at the DeSoto Square Mall in Bradenton, Erica Jackson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Erica, and those locations at the DeSoto Square and Sarasota Square malls will be open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. through Tuesday, but everyone is encouraged to get there early because those lines may close before 6 p.m.